everyone must um, understand how the Broadly speaking, all the systems in the vehicle work. Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're here to share with you some interesting facts about SpaceX's insane new plan to visit Mars by 2024. Before we go any further, do make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Space Exploration Technologies Corporation is an American-based aerospace manufacturer space company founded by Elon Musk in 2002. They manufacture the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles, several other rocket engines, Dragon Cargo, crew spacecraft and Starlink communications satellites. SpaceX Mars program is initiated with the goal to reach Mars and eventually colonize the Red Planet. The program includes fully reusable launch vehicles, on-orbit propellant tankers, human-rated spacecraft, rapid turnaround, launch on landing mounts, and local production of rocket fuel on Mars via in-situ resource utilization ISRU. Elon Musk's dream. His new mission is going to help humans land on Mars. By 2024, they aim to land the first human on the red planet. Musk has once said that humans need to establish a permanent and self-sustaining presence on Mars to ensure the continuance and consciousness as we know it. What if in case Earth becomes unsuitable for living by something like an asteroid strike or a nuclear war? They have been planning to build a new type of rocket that can land back from where it is taken off. His main goal is to take at least one lakh people to Mars within the year 2060. The spacecraft. The main element of the SpaceX Mars mission is the SpaceX Starship. Starship is a spacecraft and super heavy booster rocket. The Starship system is a fully reusable two-stage to orbit super heavy lift launch vehicle which is under development. The spaceship was renamed Starship in November 2018. The Starship system has two stages. The first stage is the booster stage which is named Super Heavy and the other stage is called the Starship. The second stage of the launch vehicle differs from the traditional launch vehicles as it is designed to act as a long duration cargo and passenger carrying spacecraft. To gain a huge payload, the spacecraft would first get into the orbit of Earth and then it would be refueled before it goes to Mars. On reaching Mars, the spacecraft will be filled with the locally produced propellant for returning to Earth. A journey through Starship history. In 2001, Elon Musk introduced the concept of Mars Oasis, a project which aimed to land on Mars, a mini experimental greenhouse that has seeds with dehydrated gel to grow plants on the soil of Mars. This would have been the farthest that life has ever reached Mars. This was done in an attempt to regain the interest of the public and increase the budget for further research and missions on Mars. But Musk realized that even if there is a high space budget, the expense to travel to Mars is far beyond expectations. And from his research, he understood that the expense can only be reduced with a fundamental breakthrough in rocket technology. To fix this problem, buys refurbished ICBMs that could send the payloads into space. In 2007, he stated the goal to slowly enabling human exploration and settlement of Mars. A few bits of information regarding the mission architecture were released in the years 2011 to 2015. The development work has started earlier, even before 2012, when SpaceX started to design the Raptor rocket engine. The development of a rocket engine is one of the longest and hardest sub-processes in design of new rockets. In 2019, Musk stated that the Starship would no longer be constructed out of carbon, instead stainless steel would be used. According to a statement, the new replacement is can reduce cost, has more strength and ease of production. On 26th April 2020, Starship S and 4 completed a cryogenic proof test and on 5th May, a static fire test with a single Raptor engine was also performed. On 4th August 2020, Starship SN5 flew to an altitude of 150 meters and landed at an adjacent launching pad. One month later, SN6 would replicate SN5's flight successfully. On 9th December 2020, Starship SN8, the first full-scale Starship prototype, flew to an altitude of 12.5 kilometers, performed a horizontal descent but failed to complete its landing burn, exploded upon collision with the ground. On 2nd February 2021, Starship SN9 attempted a 10km flight but it too failed upon landing when an engine failed to ignite. On 3rd March 2021, Starship SN10 successfully landed after a 10km flight but the vehicle was destroyed in an explosion after a few minutes. On 5th May 2021, Starship SN15 flew to an altitude of 10km, landed and was recovered successfully. The whole world is waiting to see Elon Musk's dream coming to reality. The world eagerly awaits to go to Mars. Let's wait and see whether a layman's wish to visit a new planet will come true or not. Let time and technology answer. That's all for today's video. We hope you liked the video. If you did, do like this video with a thumbs up, drop a comment and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you again with another interesting video. Until then, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye.